Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Dan, Permaculture. All right, in this video, I uh, wanted to, you know, help. You know, I got a few questions, you know, regarding, you know, when to harvest your Jamaica sorrel or your roselle. So in this video, it may be a short video, you know, I wanted just to, you know, help you guys out to show you when, you know, when those calyx is actually mature enough for you to actually harvest and the different stages of what the roselle is looking like. All right, and, and before we even go look at the, 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 the roselle, you know, shrubs. All right, one other thing you have to remember too is uh, roselle is a day length sensitive plant. So, you know, when, when, when you're talking about day length sensitive plants is the plants start pushing flower because it's, it's, it's affected by the, the, the light cycle, you know. You know the pigeon peas is, does the same thing, you know, and, and roselle does the same thing. So this means once the, the daytime is getting shorter, this is when roselle start pushing. So, you know, September, October, when you start going into fall is when the plants start pushing, you know, a lot of flowers. And that's why I always advise if you live in colder parts of the country you can grow roselle but you need to start at roselle indoor same as though you start everything for your spring garden so by this time of the year you should start getting flowers you know and you know because i know further up north you start getting even a little bit cooler in in the mornings right now you know and the, the day started to you know to, to change all right so i hope that helped so let's go check out the plant all right, let's let's walk through. You see, guys, you so big. Some of these rows are these. Look, look how tall this is. This is about six feet in height. Yeah, that's how tall they can become. Yep. So you always want to plant those stuff in an area that it. If you if you want a lot of calyxes, you have to plant it in an area similar to. You know, to give it a lot of space to grow. All right, let, let's go down here. See. These are the young, young ones. You don't want to harvest it when it looks like this. Okay? It's going to get a lot bigger. This is how it starts out in the mornings. In the morning, it blooms. And then by midday, the bloom you know, all, is all gone. Yep. Look at the mushrooms on the ground. All right. So let me show you the perfect time to harvest your roselle. All right. Look at the size of these guys. This is the perfect size to harvest this. So let me show you how, we, how you could harvest it and how easy it is to process too. Just a short video. All right. All right, guys. So this, let's harvest this one. So big it, it become. So it's it's starting these small stages and it actually get gets to about this size so this side is is pretty this size is pretty good so let's see so we are clipping it from you don't need to cut the, the the branches because if you cut it then you won't get more if you cut the calyxes off right here it's gonna push more so that's one of the key don't cut your branches off if you want more if you don't want more then you could just cut the branches. I see a lot of people do that sometimes. So actually, this is it right here. Let me show you an easy way to process this right now. Too. All right, I use, you see this coring tool? Yeah, I use it to core, like maybe apples or whatever it is. I bought this online a while ago. So. A easy way is look, you just turn it at the bottom right here, push it, look. See that guys? Then you have the the callus. So you could you could dry this for long term storage or you could use it just like this for your tea. Wash it. Use this for some good tea as well all right now you remember you could this is multiple use you could make jams drinks all kind of stuff pie everything 
It could even, they even use it to make candy, yeah. Yeah, Trader Joe, I think, sell a candy that made from the, the, and then you could actually save this for the seeds if you want to, all right? All right, guys, that was just a quick video just to let you know when to actually harvest your Roselle, your Jamaican sorrel. So thank you all for watching. I'll be blessed with peace, love, and happiness, kindness, one love.